Okay, so hello, welcome back to day one at the UK Open. Our third live match of the day. So we're featuring two former world number ones. Jonathan Payne from Belgium against Mark Beatty from Ireland. Should be a good game, I think, this one. So you've got Jonathan Payne using the blue Taylor Ace and Mark using his red Taylor Internationals. Don't forget to say hello. Hi Suzanne. Let me know where you're watching from. Don't forget to like and share the video so others can see it. Just drawing up, yep, yeah, and nick the shot from Mark. So just shy of Jack Eye, so I think Mark will stick to the forehand here. Yeah, wider line from Mark. Ball coming back. If it falls, it'll probably be in, but I still think one to Jonathan. John a bit undecided here which hand to play. Yeah. Switching now to the forehand, which I think is the right decision. Just wants this to run a bit. Mark just checking to see which is shot. Bonjour, Monsieur Le Smith. I <laughs> hope you're well, Smithy. So, Mark running up. Yep, in for shot ball. I think it's just the one. John removes it. Wait for Mark. Yeah, so one shot to uh, John. Oh, sorry, to Mark. <laughs> Good start, nearly giving him a shot. First end, 12 ends to be played in the match today. So have a quick look at the uh, meetings between the two. So currently Mark ranked six in the world, Jonathan at three. Of course, they've both been world number one before. Head to head at the moment, they've met five times previously. And of course they played each other yesterday in the World Cup. So uh, Mark edges the head-to-head 4-2, including yesterday's result. Um, last meeting in uh, ranking event was this event last year where Mark, uh, well, Jonathan actually won 12-10 in the last 16. for Jonathan there could have just done with missing that front ball would have been close so down on the forehand again for Mark just wants to trail the jack around the corner here if he can yeah good result yeah it's left a bit of a split here John I know I'm sure will attack this Just flick the block. So two, two to mark so far. Yeah. 
Mark's going to spring the jack here. Yeah, slightly hidden it. John, straight down though, he's got to draw through through the gap here. If we can just get down under Mark's wide bowl. So, let's come and have a look, see what's two in a look. Yep, so two. So, two to Mark. So again, I'll just uh, show the scoreboard for the people who might be watching who don't have any sound on. Obviously for you guys, I can tell you the score. So three nil, two ends. As I said, it'll be 12 ends to be played. This is uh, these guys' last group game of the day. They'll be back tomorrow morning for one more before the knockout starts at around 12 o'clock. And John attacking early. Yeah, and well, nearly killed the toucher, but not quite. Just, just on the back edge there, as you can see. Mark's bowl just looking to drop round. Still one to John. And John's playing very rapidly here. This bowl's a bit heavy on weight. Wanted to make sure he reached Mark's bowl, but just a fraction too much weight, really. indicating playing a bit of weight so looking to bump John's bowl straight onto the jack just under I think yeah catches his own bowl out Well, that might make Mark's mind up for him here. No, he's going to switch back to the forehand now for a draw then. Yeah, on a fair road, don't think it's going to come back enough. Going to drop, but I still think it'll be one to John. So I think it is just one to John. He's going to come and have a quick look to see. So I'll drop, drop round so you can see. Yeah, it looks like just one to John. So just drop inside a Mark's bowl. Again, uh, John, arm out. He knows it's heavy again, I think. Yeah, line was all right, but uh, a couple of feet over pace. Yeah, just a one, conceded by Mark. So that's now 3-1 to uh, Mark after three ends. You see there, 3-1. Good start from John on this end. And number four of 12, uh, rapidly getting through. Yeah, 
Yeah, great response from Mark. Did get a touch, so it will be chalked. John, yeah, John, rushing slightly. You see the difference in style between the two players. Mark, very much in the Irish style of thick stance, setting himself. John plays a little bit quicker. And again, Mark attacking this now. It's going to clip John's bowl here, so takes it clean out. Decision for John now. Two firing shots, twice in the block, so yeah, he's back onto the backhand now. It should be just a reaching draw. That bowl, obviously, not a toucher, just some chalk John's left on it. We uh, rubbed off following this bowl. And Mark's done the same. <laughs> John just saying that they're lazy because they're not rubbing their chalk marks off. <laughs> So John's last bowl of the end. Oh, not quite, well, difficult to tell. Mark might ask who's holding. Yeah, he's looking to just come down and uh, he's got to be careful if he's a bit tight on John's bowl, he will push the bowl through to John's back bowl. He's going to catch his front one, I think. Yep. So let's see what's uh, declared. <laughs> yep, so John concedes Mark, so one shot to Mark. So play well underway. As I said, this is uh, now the last session for this group of players. This is group one to ten playing. And if you want to see how everyone's got on, just head to the website. Full results and previous videos we've had, player stats, player profiles, lots to look at. We will be bringing you one final game today from the group stages. Um, that'll be the session after next, uh, Jonas Hager of Sweden against Ferdinand Franson of Norway. Two young bowlers, so it should be a good game. And we'll announce on Facebook later this evening the uh, three games that will be selected for the show mat to, for the final group games tomorrow morning. So look out for that. Hi Liam, nice to see you. Um, I did see Mark's game earlier. He lost to ooh, Dave Chittick, I think it was. He's playing now a couple of mats away. I'll see if I can find out a score for you. But again, just head to the website. You'll be able to see his full results there. So Mark holding two on this end. Some great bowling from Mark. International's just getting a nice bit of turn on these mats. Obviously, we're playing on top of an indoor bowling green. <laughs> That's Wendy Ford over my shoulder having a little look. So, John Payne now looking to strike on the forehand. That's going to hold off, I would think. Yeah, the last two previous games we've been watching on the show mat. Any weight really has got to be dead straight. It's no give. No given the map on that side. Yeah. 
Hello Ian, Seamus, you Hope you're all well over there. Just under, well, just three weeks actually until we're over in Belfast for our uh, Irish Open. The team are looking forward to coming over. I think we've got 238 players for that event. Another great bowl from Mark. And he's maybe giving John a bit of a sniff now to make that an easier draw. He's definitely switching hands, so. It is. Yeah, well bowled, John. Saved the big four there. I think you'll actually only be dropping one shot, so uh, good result. Yep, so just the one. Good recovery from John with his last bowl. So. Five, one to mark now after five ends. Seven ends to go. Hi Albert, hi Simon. Thanks for joining us. So can John get on top of this chap with his first bowl now? Needs to get back into the game. Just wants to run round. Oh, yes, good enough. I said these guys did meet yesterday in the World Cup uh, during the group. Mark uh, edging that game. Just short again from Mark. So opportunity for John now. Let me switch hands. Yep, switches round. Yes, yeah, on a good line. Just needs to run a bit more now. In for two. It's quite tricky this now because obviously John's last bowl has now blocked that drawing line. And his bowls at the front aren't particularly well situated, unless he can get onto his uh, onto the middle bowl of the three there, push it through. I think that's what he's playing. Yeah, he's close here. Uh, just caught it slightly thin, so didn't really move, but he's opened it up. Shake of the head from John there. Was two up and now is probably one down. Yeah, it's fairly close. I must apologise for the uh, legs on display here today. <laughs> it's a very warm day here in Essex. It's about 29, 30 degrees, but... Uh, we do have the aircon on inside here at 19, but it's still warm with 192 players. So Mark down the backhand side, looking to turn his own bowl up. All on the weight now. Yeah, just three. Could be in though. Hi Caroline. Um, I think Martin's done okay. I did see him playing a couple of his games early. I'm not sure of his full results. He is playing now actually on mat 15. Score on his mat is 4-2 after three ends. Not sure if he's up or down. I say, if you want to go to our website, uh, look at the live feed page from the home page. There's a tab on there that says full results. You can click through. Just enter Martin's name and you can see all his results and his group standings from today. Oh, well, yeah, John might have done that, I think. Yep. Yep, one conceded. I think that's probably it. Yep. yep, so just the one to John. So if I scan across, you can just see Martin on the end there waving his arms. 
Hi David, uh, thanks very much. We enjoy bringing the coverage to you. So, John threw with his first ball. Nice position. Would have liked to have been a fraction closer. Yeah, Mark's certainly going to be inside that. Change of hand for John. Yeah, just wants it to peg a bit more. Well, no, just, just the wrong side. Yeah, good adjustment from Mark. So, sits two. Now I think John might attack this on the backhand. Yeah, just playing a yard of pace. Just going to be under though. Yeah, Mark, well, yeah, he's going to stick to the uh, backhand. I wasn't sure if he might just change to the forehand, try and cover John's bowls, or sit on his own to cover that route. If he gets close to this jack, it could make the shot a fraction easier for John. No, it's actually a good bowl if it drops. Yeah, so it's covered that shot now. So, it'll be, oh, so John's actually going to play some weight through here. Again, it's going to hold out, I think. Yeah, clean through. It's catching out the players there. They're just allowing for a bit of swing, but it really is bowling dead straight with weight on that side. So, chance for Mark now. Pick up a full house. Stick into the hand he's been bowling. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. There you go, that's what you're up against. So, counter four. Okay, yeah. So that's now 9-2, I think, after yeah. seven ends. Thanks, John. Just so you can see it. There you go, 9-2, seven ends. Still five to go, so time for John, yeah. So, middle jack for Mark. You know, so Mark does wobble his bowls quite a lot, but uh, because of the bias in the internationals, they do still peg back quite well. Of course, for those of you who have watched Mark over the years, he's when he comes to our events, certainly on uh, hard floor venues, so in Norway, Sweden previously, he uh, does switch to a Taylor Blaze with a narrower bias. Got a few of the players now doing that, using two sets of woods depending on the surface they're playing on. So yeah, reaching draw for Mark, just looking to pick up the jack. Just a fraction tight though, but he's in for shot. So John coming to have a look, see how it lies. Yeah, 
St John, perfect road just a bit over. So say this is their last game of the day. John is currently top of the group with three wins and nine points. Mark BT's in third currently, uh, tied with Saul Featherstone of England uh, on six points with two wins and a draw, uh, two wins and a loss, sorry. Still watching Caroline, I can tell you Martin has uh, got three points from his three matches. Yeah, closer from John here. Another good saving bolt, it looks like. Yeah, could even be shot that. Applause from Mark. Yeah, indeed it is. Just the one, I think. Yep. So Mark concedes one. John agrees. Just another check. Yeah, so it is one. So, eight tens played. Nine three to Mark. Touch from John would have been would have preferred to have been passer Jack. So Mark, I'm sure we'll just play a reaching draw on this. Ooh. Yep, better wait from John with a second. We'll drop behind. Hi Ryan, thanks for joining us mate, hope you're well. Here you had a good tournament uh, at your local club recently, well done mate. Yeah, good ball, ball from Mark, might be shot, looks pretty close now. John. Just wanted his front bowl and his clean chipped mark straight in behind the jack. Hi Danny, hope you're well, thanks for joining. Yeah, good response to Mark, just going to be on the outside edge. John's still going to have to probably attack this a little bit. Yeah, playing the narrow line, wants ideally the bowl, but it's going to get the jack here. Yeah, could have got a result. So, a favour in marks just, but it is close. Hi Bill, hi Nadine. Haven't seen how uh, your mum and uh, your auntie have got on today. I did say hello to your mum earlier. And again, just uh, click through from the website, you can see how they've got on. So Mark playing from the outside of his foot. Yeah, maybe he played it as one down. I'm not sure. I think he was looking to get John's bar clean, but he's given one to John there. I wasn't really sure who was shot prior to that. Yeah. So, yeah, Mark was playing for a shot for four. Nine three up, so worth a go. Drops a single, so nine four after nine ends. <laughs> Hi, Bill. I did compliment Mark on his shorts earlier. Not his legs, but his shorts. So they're perfectly allowed, those are. So 
So three ends to go, and John needing five to get a tie. Um, say so Mark will join him on nine points if he wins. So uh, and of course go ahead on head to head, but uh, other results might have a play on that. Saul Featherstone, obviously a very good player, will have a say. So tomorrow's games will be crucial. Hi Suzanne, thanks for joining. Yes, apologies about the legs, I'm sure you've seen them many times. It's uh, very white. There's a lot of that on show today, as you can probably see around the arena. But it is pretty warm today, so uh, we've got to allow them a bit, uh, bit of leeway. So, mark down on the backhand, one down on the mat. Mark not really having to do anything too much here. Yeah, John turns away. A wry smile. <laughs> Sticking in the backhand, more attacking now. Could do of halving it, he has done. I haven't got a toucher too. So John's ball has come into the ditch, but now marks it's three. I still think John will play at this, even though it's his last ball. He needs two, so Jack in is a result here. Just needs to hold up a bit longer. Well, yeah, he's got the shot and a toucher. Would have preferred taking it through, but. Uh, Room for Mark to do. He can actually play this either hand. Don't know if Mark's deciding whether to try and play John straight through into the ditch. He could count three if he gets it far enough away. Yeah, he's attacking. I think it's just a bit wide. Might half the jack. Oof, very close. So. So. Yeah, one to John. So, two ends to go. Nine five to uh, Mark. Ten ends played. Hi Runa, hi Kate, thanks for joining. Two ends left to play in this match. A crucial win it will be for Mark if he gets it because that will put him very much in the mix after losing one game earlier. John unbeaten so far today. more weight there would have done the job but uh, just faded across the front of Mark's balls. Change of hand for Mark. Yeah just holding it out on that nice wide line and it will sweep back now. Perfect position. John's in the area, don't think he's going to get shot, but again, in good position. We need to get a result with his last ball, or it will be game over. Hi Chris, thanks for joining. Sorry you missed out this weekend. Yeah, Mark wants to run a bit more here. Well, that might give John 
a bit of a helping hand, that ball. Yeah, Mark, very disappointed with that. He just needs to come and have a look at the angles here because the way Mark's ball sat on the jack is not particularly great for John. But again, if he plays maybe a couple of feet onto the shot ball, he'll travel through with the jack, but it needs to be the right weight. And this looks a bit heavy, maybe. Yeah, well, it's going to fall down onto the jack. So, again, if it's a tied end, Mark's got one bowl to play. Score difference is four. Decisions to be made now because uh, taking the tight end, tall order for John to get a four, you would think, against Mark, last end. But uh, the risk here, obviously, is you don't want to give the shot away when you're perhaps holding a tie. Are they both touching, John? Are they both touching? Ah, OK, so John's actually holding shot. So, Mark, I assume we'll just look to try and fade John's bowl off the jack here. Pretty close. Yeah, it's a very, very good bowl. Very good. So, yes, yeah, so that's two. Takes two. Cracking ball from Mark there, really. So that wins him the match. So one end to go. 11-5 up, playing the last end now. Excellent result there, really, for Mark. So final end to play. 11-5 to Mark. Yeah, good lead from Mark to start off. John now want to pick a couple up here just to keep the shot staying. Yeah, in the area here. Yeah, good disturbance. for Mark, especially if it falls down. John quickly down, playing through now. Well, his bowls are both still on, so he can probably afford to attack it again. So I think Mark might look to just touch a jack. will certainly be past it here. Yeah, just on the narrow side, if he gets in the well, yeah, stood up. Chance for John still, though. I think we'll see him reach. He is. Yeah, good result. So two to John, one bowl left each. Mark looking to play a reverse bias here, I think. He is. Well, he's got a result. <laughs> Tried to reverse the jack into the corner, sprung it across to the far corner and holding one. A wry smile from Jonathan. So, last bowl of the match. John just looking to draw on the narrow side, down through the gap. Oh, no, he's actually playing for his own toucher. He's got it. Oh, he's run through anyway. So, probably just one. So, they're going to call for an umpire. One conceded so far for John. Ian McLennan's going to come down to uh, just tape it. I think it's uh, marked, but uh, it's worth a measure. <laughs> You're welcome, mate. 
So a shake of hands from the players. Another good game between them. Played each other many times. This is their sixth meeting, in, well, seventh meeting in singles, if you count yesterday's World Cup game. So we'll just see the final outcome. As it is at the moment, it's 11-6, with possibly another shot for John to come. And Mark will join John now at the top of uh, their group, both on nine points. Don't forget to stay with us later. One more match we're bringing you today from uh, the group stages. As I said earlier, young Jonas Hager and Ferdinand Franzen. So, uh, Swedish-Norwegian battle again. We'll have that game for you from just after six o'clock uh, UK time. Yep, so Mark's bowls in by about an inch or so. So one shot to, uh, to John, so that finishes 11-6. So again, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, see you back later on from 6 o'clock for the uh, Battle of the Youngsters. Thanks very much.